Hey guys, how's it going? Jim here. SPFbuilding.com. Alright, this is a culmination of those other couple of videos that we looked at with regards to the piston stop and getting uh, accurate top dead center with the degree wheel. Obviously here, with my inability as a one-man crew here, um, the front is set up here with regards to here, let me give you a little shot, with regards to the crank sprocket, um, degree wheel, our, our pointer, and what we're focusing on right now is this setup here. Um, this is a whole comp cams kit that uh, that they sent to me. Uh, works very well. We use it day in and day out. Um, this method I'm going to use um, to degree the cam is uh, intake center line, which um, in this day and age a lot of people don't like anymore because of asymmetrical and symmetrical lobes. But I'm going to tell you that it's kind of funny. The majority of com uh, of camshaft companies still to, on their cam cards to this day recommend intake center line regardless of the lobes they used. Um, there's a few methods to degree the cam. I'm going to leave it up to you. This first one we're going to cover is probably the most commonly used um, thus far and that is uh, 50 before, 50 after uh, using the intake, um, the number that they give you for the intake center line. We'll look at some other ones in other videos but this one I wanted to cover real quick uh, seeing as it was the most common. So now this setup here, all I've got going on down here, this is a Dart SHP block. Um, this lifter here is just a junk empty lifter, dog bone setup. This lifter is a stock lifter that we machined flat on the top. Um, as you can see, it's a dial indicator with an extension on it. And this is just a fancy um, contraption, really. You can use a regular dial indicator magnetic base setup. This is just happens to be in their kit um, because it was more universal. This is a, um, a reducer here, um, it, it, it's 7 16 on this primary shaft that can go on a stock block or, or you screw this on for half inch for aftermarket or Windsor blocks. So this is what we got. Um, the first thing I'm going to do now is all I did was this lifter and this is the intake and we're just looking at the intake. But there's two things here, this is not the actual degreeing, we're just going to see what the lobe lift is, just so you can get an idea, because when you look at a cam card, you'll notice it'll say lobe lift on there. And what you do is you simply take that lobe lift, times it by the rocker arm duration, I mean uh, ratio, sorry. So you have, um, let's look at this one. So I've got this lifter on the base circle, I set the dial indicator at zero, and I'm just going to zoom in up here real fast. And all we're going to look at is to see when um, the lifter is at max lift <laughs> so let's see what do we got here 100 200 300 it's gonna it's gonna be pretty soon here 360 three oh yeah, 69 let me see that vantage point I think so 369 will be the end yes all right so 369, 369 thousandths. If you look at the cam card, see what the lobe lift is. So take 369 times 1.6 or whatever your rocker arm ratio is. Okay, if it's 172, so on and so forth, 16, 15. Um, the standard 16 that puts it at 